Welcome back. I think Tiger Woods is going to win the U.S. Open. He's my favorite. He's won twice this year already. He's won the U.S. Open three times. The only other golfer to win it three times is Hale Irwin. And then there's three golfers that's won it four times. Willie Anderson, Bobby Jones, and Jack Nicholas. I think Tiger is going to join that elite group of four U.S. Open wins. It's at the Olympic Club this year on the Lake Course in San Francisco, California. If you can guess who the winner of the U.S. Open this year is, just put down the name who you think is going to win in the comment box below this video. And then if your golfer wins, I will enter you in a chance to win my monthly giveaway contest. Pretty exciting. Here are some fun facts that I went and looked up about the U.S. Open on Wikipedia. So, for instance, in 1895, Horace Rawlings earned $150 for first place in the U.S. Open. The prize fund was like $335. Last year, Rory, he won $1.44 million and the prize fund was $7.85 million. Man, this tournament's really came a long ways since it first started out. Tiger Woods holds the record for the largest margin of victory. 15 strokes and I think that's of any major he did that back in 2000 Tiger Woods the years he won the US Open was 2000 2002 2008 I think 2012 sounds like a good number for him too John McDermott was the youngest golfer to win the US Open he was 19 years old and 315 days old in 1911. The oldest golfer was Hale Irwin. Hale did it at age 45 and he was 15 days old in 1990. So pretty good for Hale at age 45. Tiger just has such a good game. But there's other good golfers in this tournament. As you know, it's the best around the world. For instance, Phil Mickelson, he's came in second place five times in the U.S. Open. He's never won yet. On this course, even though it's called at the lake course, there isn't a water hazard on this whole course. You have plenty of views of water, but there's not one water hazard, which was surprising when I saw that. If there's a tie after Sunday, they have to go to Monday and play an 18-hole playoff. I believe this is the only major to do it this way. Two of Tiger's three wins have came in California, so I think for U.S. Open history, he likes that state. Some things about the Olympic Club, when I was looking that up, it's a privately held club, and at the Lake Course back in 1927, it was redesigned. There will be, this will be their fifth U.S. Open in their history. Some of the famous members of that club is Mark Twain, Joe DiMaggio, Johnny Miller, the list goes on. So it has quite a history. To get a spot in the U.S. Open, it's open to amateurs and pros. It costs $150 to enter at your local golf course. There's local qualifying, which gets it down to 550 people for sectional qualifying. Then however many spots are left in the U.S. Open after the pros get their exempts from winning tournaments, past winners get 10 years for the US Open. Other tournaments are some for five years. If you 
we're so high in certain rankings you get exempt so there isn't that many spots left but there are spots where an amateur could be playing with the pros there's a lot of pros I saw that didn't make didn't qualify for the US Open this year it was very surprising when I saw that list on TV the other day but to be able to enter it you have to have a handicap index of 1.4 or less so you got to have a pretty good golf game so something to shoot for to keep working on getting your handicap lower so you can have a chance to play the US Open then in the tournament if you qualify for the tournament you play Thursday and Friday 18 holes each day and then the top 60 scores play Saturday Sunday gosh that would be just a dream of mine to come true be able to play the US Open on any day myself even a practice round some more fun facts about this golf course I think it's the first the first six holes there are some of the hardest in any of the majors for instance the first hole is a par par four 520 yards and the holes there are tree line they've got small greens they've got a lot of bunkers around the greens there's elevations of 30 feet or more where you're hitting up hills or hitting down hills for instance this hole behind me is the number 12th hole at the legacy golf course it's the number two handicap hole and it's a par four tree lines on both sides slight dog leg to the right got sand in the middle of the fairway sand up by the the green the green has a lot of elevations but yet it's a 300 yard hole so can you imagine 520 yard hole i bet the average score on this hole is a five at this course it plays hard so i couldn't imagine that first hole those golfers are going to be facing at the u.s open the longest par five on that course is the 15th hole and it's 670 yards the third hole is a par three 247 yards to me anything around 200 is really long 247 yard par three wow three of the par fours are 490 yards or large longer wow the longest hole in this course i believe is 515 yards and that's for a par five so it's very challenging course like i said lots of trees narrow fairways uh, it's going to be an exciting day of golf it's a par 71 course and the yardage is 7186 yards wow so the golf tournament is june 14th through the 17th be sure to watch it it's going to be exciting be sure to send in the person you think is going to win it on the comment below and i'll enter you in my monthly contest if your golfer wins i hope you enjoyed this video I'm excited. I'm hoping Tiger wins. And please subscribe to my channel. Share this video with your friends on Facebook and Twitter. Hit like on this video if you like it. And have a great day. I'm going to go out and play golf now. My buddy Andy's in town from Bedford and Neil. So it's going to be a great day out on the golf 